International cooperation on a scale like no other. 40 surface ships, more than 150 aircraft, three submarines, and 25,000 people together in the Pacific Ocean for this year's RIMPAC. Nations from across the globe are practicing a wide range of missions from natural disaster response to attack skills needed for war. Every nation in the world actually has interest in the Pacific and we adhere to the same value is more than welcome to participate. One country not invited, China. Because analysts say the warm welcome RIMPAC gave to China about a decade ago backfired. There was this outreach to China uh, and, uh, and, and, and definitely the U.S. and its allies and partners were, were essentially burned by the Chinese taking advantage of it, but not really uh, taking, uh, taking advantage of it in a way to positively shape their behavior and cooperate, but took advantage of it as an opportunity um, to, to essentially to collect in, uh, in intelligence and to try and, uh, and get more acceptance of what, it, what should be considered unacceptable behavior. Now, officials say the biennial exercise sends a strong message to China to stop bullying its neighbors. They're not just going to be facing uh, the United States and the country they're targeting, but they're potentially going to have to deal with a response from a wide range uh, of countries that have common interests uh, in deterring and confronting uh, Chinese aggression and its, its threats to uh, free and open Indo-Pacific. RIMPAC nations this year will practice targeting the decommissioned assault ship USS Tarara and a rare chance to learn how effective their weapons are at sinking a large and protected adversary in open waters. The weeks-long exercise is set to end in early August. Carla Babb, VOA News, The Pentagon.